AI has been a hot topic recently. And it seems like no matter where you go or who you talk to, AI is a growing topic of conversation. In this video, we'll talk about how to best use AI with your direct response business and marketing. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel by clicking the button below. In 2021, I wrote a blog post about the next big thing in direct response marketing. And one of the points that I brought up was the increase of use of AI, artificial intelligence. It turns out we were spot on because this year we're almost halfway through 2023 and the biggest topic of conversation has been AI. I'm going to list the top three ways I've been using AI in my day-to-day -day life and within our business. Spoiler alert, we did not have ChatGDP write this video. These are all perfect examples and actual examples of, again, how we're using AI in our positions every day. Example number one, I've been using Dolly and Canva for images. These images are for social posts or native display advertising. Dolly is a type of program where you can type in exactly what you're looking for, maybe a specific person, an animal, or a scenery, something like that. And the more specific you get, the more it will turn out. You do have to be careful though, because there's been quite a few times where we've asked for maybe a person holding an interesting fruit that's had six fingers. So definitely look at the images that it is creating for you before you post it anywhere, just because it is generating images that might seem enticing doesn't mean it's always right. The second way we've been using AI in our day-to-day -day business is obviously using chat GDP. It has been a huge help in coming up with alternative subject lines and different body copy for different email swipes or pre-landers or advertorial pages for our promotions on Facebook and YouTube. Biggest point of contention here is chat GDP is not a copywriter. It definitely spits out promising points of copy. So what I typically do is hone in on the best parts of the copy. And then what I do from there is iterate off of those best points of copy. I typically don't take the whole thing, send it off to legal and promote it. It's not that great. I have to again and again tell it to make changes before I feel like it's strong enough to put out there in the universe to test. The third way we've been using AI is in email marketing. AI can e increase your email revenue by using tools to determine the best offers that you should go to your file, the best swipe and subject line combinations, just so you can make sure you're squeezing the most out of your subscribers. AI algorithms can analyze historical data, deliverability, and different user behavior patterns to predict future behavior. Email marketers can leverage this predictive power that AI has to optimize these email sends and determine the best times of day to send emails, the most effective way to send emails, the number of emails you should be sending, and even predict customer churn, frequency, subscriber rates, things like that. By sending emails at the right time to the right people, you can really, again, increase open rates, click-through rates, conversion rates, just to overall lift the revenue of your email marketing department. Number four, using AI voice generation tools. For example, Speechify. This is perfect for when your guru, your face, or even yourself is possibly too busy to film, not available to film, or maybe you know, you're just not camera ready, or you might even be under the weather. You can use yourself or create an AI of yourself to reach out to affiliates. Now, in order to do this, it needs to learn. You need to get voice clips. You need to train this. And it can be kind of scary, like freaky good. So just a warning, it is fun to play with along with the rest of these tools. Number five, you can use AI to create compelling social media posts to help create more buzz around your offer or your brand, or even try to meet or connect new affiliates. Social media posts are a fantastic way for AI tools because they can scour everything on the internet and all social platforms to see what people are responding to, what is getting the clicks, the views, the impressions. It's a great, great tool. So make sure you utilize it. And then a bonus, a bonus tip number six, and this one just is more of a word of caution is AI is still new. It is still learning. And even when you get a new AI tool, it takes time to learn. Make sure yourself or someone within your company, a human reviews any image 
any copy, any text, any social media post, any caption, whatever your AI turns out, make sure you have a human review it. Like Megan said earlier, it's not perfect. It may never be perfect. And though they have great ideas, it's not accurate all the time. And you want to make sure that someone reviews it, a human reviews it before you put it out publicly, because the last thing you want is the wrong information about you, your offer, your guru, your company, your brand. And don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel so you never miss a thing. And hey, if you have any ideas, any topics you want us to talk about, leave it in the comments. We'll make a video of it. All right, we'll see you next time.